What's up, y'all? We're at the end of our day. We're gonna show you our cleaning process because we had a special request for that. So here we are. We're gonna do it. All right, here we go. After every trip we go in the salt water, we use our salt away. We use it, we use about a little ounce and a half or so in, in the little mixer for our kicker motor. We're gonna run that, hook that up. And then we also do the same thing for our main motor. So we're gonna flush everything out. It's about an ounce and a half of this salt away solution and it mixes with water automatically in here. So here we go, I'm gonna hook it up to the motors and show you our process. All right, here we go. On our big motor, we have this easy connects where we just take it out unscrew the little cap screw this little mixer on there and turn it on I kind of set it like here so it has a kind of nice straight little flow you can see that mixing in there really good already keeps that nice and tight so no leaks and then already you can see through the here it's already flushing look at it. it's all nice and soapy that cleaning all that out, getting all that salt. All right, we're gonna do the same thing, but everybody knows the earmuffs. So we're gonna do that and start with the kicker. All right, so here we go. You know, everybody knows how to do that with the kicker. Put the earmuffs on. All right, babe, you wanna start it for me? All right, we're gonna, you make sure you always turn the water on first. Get that in there. get her started you know with these kickers sometimes you gotta give them a little help and squeeze the earmuffs to get on there you can see you can see after I squeeze it a little bit it starts flushing a little bit better but yeah a lot of times we got I gotta hold it a little bit better so it gets a nice good thing. It's better if you get a trash can and fill it up and put it in there. But here you go, I'm gonna let this run for a little while. I'm gonna squeeze it a little bit better. You see, if you give it a little bit of pressure, yeah, it's fitting really good now. So I kind of hold it a little bit to help it out. But you can see the solutions running through everything and we're, we'll get that going. All right, y'all see, so I'm just putting a little bit of pressure on there on the earmuffs so it goes really good. You want that nice spitting really nice so that solution goes through all the way. You see if I let it go, sometimes see how it dies down a little bit. So I like to kind of give it a little squeeze, get it going in there real nice. And then we just do it until it goes clear. You can see that one's already starting to lighten up on the big motor. All right, so we'll just sit here for a few minutes. I'm not gonna make you watch it. So we'll come back when we got to the next step. All right. All right, y'all, so that's it. See, let's, let's clear. solution's pretty clear now. You can see how the bubbles running through everything. You can see fresh water. And you can see right here, it's all nice and clear. That means it's all done. It's been about a five minutes, maybe five to eight minutes of complete flushing. And then that's it. All right, I'm gonna put all this back and we'll get ready to wash. Filled up this with the solution right here, the salt away. And then it's pretty easy. We just get this going and pretty much just start spraying down everything on the boat. get everything we spray everything all the way down underneath don't forget your trailer always get the trailer to them make sure you get all that underneath there and this stuff works really good you probably should just let it sit for like five minutes and then it should dissolve everything and then you can do a quick scrub if you like well we you know we always do Don't forget your tires, rims, all that stuff gets in the salt water. Make 
make sure you get all your brakes in there, everything. Underneath there, way really good. All right, normally we're doing a team effort, but since I'm showing you, we're gonna do first half, and then we'll do the second half. So we'll do this side first. Now Costco's our friend. Let it get dry while we're doing this on hot days. It's really good when you do it as a team. I'm not going to worry about the inside too much right now because I get up there and do it, do the inside a lot more. I just rinse everything down real nice. Like I like what I like to do when I'm rinsing is kind of check over everything, making sure there's nothing that you hit that you didn't notice, any any other new marks that you scratches, anything like that. Just kind of pay attention to your trailer, make sure everything's looking good. Look, check your welds and stuff. Well, it's good to look at your live well fittings, make sure they're looking nice and tight. get to rinse their brakes, but it's a good thing to do it. All right, that's one half rinse. Make sure there's plenty of solution in there. Keep going. Same thing on this side as we did the other side. See this? Look, my solution's getting a little weak. I don't like to see it like that. So a lot of times I'll just turn it off dump that back in the boat and refill it and get some more for the rest all right this time i didn't fill it all the way up i kind of know how much i'm going to use so that's about how much more i'm going to need to finish up everything all right back at it Well, 
this is our new scratch from today. We hit the dock a little bit. It happens, you know. But that's a new mark, so always keep an eye on it. Like new marks, it's a little bit, but it's not too bad. But it's all right. If you don't use them, you'll never know how to damage them. <laughs> and we all know what boat stands for. Rinse like always, just like that it's not. sure it's all flush. You want to get all that salt out of there. At least rinse it as much as you can. Well, that's the outside. We're going to jump up inside and we'll do that part next. On the boat, on the top of the boat, and we'll show you the interior. We'll get the outside of this already. I like to flip this over so we get the inside because that gets wet too. We sprayed most of the front already. But, but here we go. I like to do the rinse the live well really good. We had some nice fish in here today. A lot of salt in here, and it gets everywhere. So kind of get all that salt away in there and let that sit for a little while. Kind of give a little areas where we couldn't really reach from the outside, mostly around the edges. Get our shears that we use. Make sure we hit those up real good. Get this. All right, and don't forget to hit your rod holders too. We got our Scotties right here. Make sure you hit those really good too. You know, you want them to last forever, they won't. <laughs> All right, we'll hit the, the interior more. All right, so we'll go around. Oh, on the interior part. So our boat leaks right up here. So I can hit all this right here with the salt away too. And now we do all our seeds out of everything around the whole floor. Try not to get this too much because this stuff don't really get too wet, but we get a little bit, so I like to try to do it really fast. So to try to get everything. We got most of the sides already. So our fish number, we always clean that baby off. Love using that. Made by Fat Boy Angler. Yep. Yep, I custom make these. So if you like one, hit me up and I'll get you one. I'll show you a picture of all the ones that I have made ready to go right now. But 
This one's been three years, has a few chips, but shoot, it's still pretty good. That's three years of use and it still holds the color really nice. So, there you go. I'll show you the picture of all the ones we got ready to go. All right. Now we just keep on going. Everything that's been in the salt, we try to rinse it off with this. Get our net. Get that a good little spray now. Yeah. Yeah, so we hit all this right here. We even hit our rod. So right here, this is what we do. I like to spray them all the way from the top. A good tip is uh, if you have avid reels, put them in free spool while you try to rinse them. Try not to give them a direct con direct spray. Kind of hit your hand and let the let it kind of ricochet off into your reel. You, they don't really like the full pressure onto the reel like that. So. Don't forget to hit your wife while you're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we like to get a nice, good. All right, well that's most of the inside, all sprayed down, kind of rinsed. We kind of soaked the carpet, but the carpet didn't get too wet today, so we don't have to full on soak it down like we normally do. But if it, if it got wet pretty good today, we would soak it all the way down like we did the front. So that's it. All right, I kind of do a little quick brush, mostly on the seats and these sides right here. But most of that salt away is gonna take care of most of the stuff that we really need to worry about. I like to try to hit the floor a little bit. You know, normally at home we'll power wash this on a low setting and get that really nice and clean. But we fish too much to make it super clean. So that's it. Now you can see our solution is pretty clear now. So for the rinse, I just kind of dump that out and let that go. And now I'll pretty much start rinsing everything off and from the front to work my way to the back. Alright, so you can see here in the front, like I was saying earlier, we got a pretty soak down with that salt away solution. And see how we soak it down because this part got pretty wet today. The back didn't get so wet, so that's why we're not doing it. most of the front that we, we got all rinsed down i don't mind leaving a little soapy because it, it's going to get wet next week so if we can help the salt stay away that's going to be great for us all right and i'll move into the interior part
Actually, we're just doing a quick rinse on this back carpet. Rinse off your rod holders, rod rack. Another fresh rinse on a rod. We didn't use our back live well this time, but I always do a little quick little rinse on it. Nothing too special. Well, that's how we clean our boat that's pretty much about what we do and when we get home we do a couple more things to help dry it out and do a couple other things and we'll show you that when we get back to the house all right we'll see you in a little few We've got about an hour drive home hopefully most of it will dry before we get there all right we'll see you at home all right you guys we're back at home now this is one of our final processes that we do so right now we took off a rod rack you see that it's gone took it off it's a lot easier to put the boat cover on with it out on all right but here the last step that we do at the end of our fishing day is we open up all our compartments crack them open like this uh, i like to use uh, our rod holders to prop everything open like this so get some airflow in there these smaller ones we kind of leave leave open. This is where our batteries are. Our live wells. And then we even open up everything down here. All our under compartments kind of prop this up. Like this. All right, and then we do the same thing in the front. Prop the live well up. Open this. That's a mess. That probably gonna need to be a little bit more cleaned out, but we'll get that later. It's mostly fresh water. So prop those up, get some airflow in there. You know, make sure they're all cleared, getting some good airflow. And then uh, since we have problems with corrosion and everything like that, and water, I like to get our heavy duty fan right here. And then what we do, I turn it on full blast. And I set it down here. And I close that down and that's what we do and then we put the boat cover on and then tomorrow when I get home from work that's our last process was what we'll do then all right well until tomorrow after work peace what's up y'all well, I'm back home it's Monday after work this is my next thing that I do so I like to make sure everything's up. I kind of touch the carpet and see where everything's at. A lot of it's still a little wet. So pretty much I'm gonna leave the cover fully off and let it dry out until we go to bed and then we'll put it back on tonight. But uh, what I like to do is check down here. See, it's all pretty nice and dry now with that fan. So now I'm gonna kind of put it up. 
put that fan down in there in the back so it kind of gets that airway going down underneath the boat. That's that everything we can't see. All right, well, I'm going to put this top up real quick just to make sure it's fully dry. And I'll be right back. All right, well, here we go. We got the top up. We're going to let it fully dry out. And then pretty much that's pretty much all we do. And then we uh, kind of just let it dry out as fully as possible as much as we can. And hopefully, normally the, with this wind and the warm weather, it'll dry out pretty fast. All right, well, I'll come back when we're getting ready to put the cover back on. And we'll lower everything back and get it ready for the next trip. All right, so thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And uh, any more requests, send them our way and we'll try to get them out for you. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. All right, you guys, it's been about 40 minutes. We put the top down. It was pretty dry. It dried really fast with this wind tonight. Uh, the carpet's still a little wet. Our light well's a little wet still. So we propped them up a little bit more and try to catch that wind. But uh, that's pretty much about it. We're going to just try to dry it out all the way. And then we'll put the boat cover on. And then we'll have it stored and put away and ready for next weekend. All right, well, we'll be back in a little bit to show you the cover. And then that's it. All right. All right, well, here we are. It's It's been a couple hours now. We started to put the cover on. We're doing it. Uh, we got the fan going. We leave that going on because it keeps good airflow going through the bottom of the boat. It's going to fully dry everything out. I'll check it again tomorrow when I get home from work. But that's it. We're going to put the cover on real good. covers the difference so just pull them down tight pretty easy do it on both sides I pull pretty tight because we get a pretty good wind out here Well, that's it. That's our boat. It's all clean. That's our cleaning process. That's what I do almost every single time we're out. Sometimes I do more. Sometimes I do a little less. Depends on what water we're in. But that's it. Well, until the weekend, peace. Tyler.